At Ivy League Financial Advisors, we believe that financial planning is not about a product, it's about a process. That's why we've developed a unique process that we take our clients through that addresses their goals and concerns. So let me take just a moment to explain our unique process to you. Okay? The first thing we do is we have a conversation with our clients about what their goals and concerns are. What are their dreams? What do they want to get out of working with a financial advisor? This sets the table for everything we do for them because we're trying to make them happy and to have them fulfill their life goals. That's our mission statement. In order for us to do that, we've got to get some data from the clients. That's our due diligence process. So we've got to get things such as their tax return and their investment statements and their pay stubs and their insurance policies and they've got to provide us with an idea of how they spend their money. This isn't a particularly fun step for the client, but it's necessary for us in order to develop an accurate financial plan for them. Now that we've got the two inputs, their goals and concerns, and their data collection, now we can move forward to preparing the financial plan for the client. So the first product that we produce for them is a statement of their cash flow and their balance sheet. The cash flow is very important because it lets us know how they're spending their money and how much they've got left over each month or each year to apply toward their financial goals. And that's very important. The second thing that we produce for them is a tax analysis. Can we do something for them to help them save their taxes? Are they maxing out on their 401k or the 403b? Are their investments invested in a tax efficient manner? These are all very important areas to address. Clients are very interested in an analysis of their investments. Now the investments go back to their goals and concerns, so we look at their portfolio as it stands right now and analyze it in light of their goals and concerns. Is it appropriate? Is it too conservative? Is it too aggressive? Is it not diversified enough? Probably changes are going to need to be made, but we need to analyze what they have first. Retirement planning is key. Clients want to understand what they need to do in order for them to either maintain a successful retirement or reach a successful retirement. And the number one question that we get is, can I live the lifestyle I want to live in retirement without worrying about running out of money? So the components of our financial plans address that, those questions and they do it in terms of varying different retirement scenarios such as rates of return and how much they're spending in retirement and what age they retire. So the clients have an understanding of exactly what it takes for successful retirement. Insurance analysis is also important. Do they have the right kinds and right amounts of insurance products? Keep in mind as fee-only financial advisors we don't sell insurance but we do the analysis for the types of insurance they should have especially life insurance, disability insurance, and long-term care insurance. Those are three key com insurance components that we like to review. Education funding is also extremely important. Clients with children that are pre-college want to know what it takes to send their kids to four or five years of a private school, four or five years of a public school, or four or five years of an out-of-state public school. We do the analysis for them so they have an idea of how much they've got to put away each year. And we also work with them to set up programs such as 529 college savings programs in order for them to actually start saving for their college. Estate planning is the final component of the financial plan. Clients should always have three documents. They should have a will, they should have an advanced medical directive, and they should also have a power of attorney. We make sure that the clients, if they don't have those, that they start to prepare those and we will even take, take the clients to a local estate planning attorney for them to start drafting those documents. But keep in mind it, is that we don't wait until the clients go through all of this before we do the estate planning. If clients walk in and they don't have any estate planning documents, we usually take them to the estate planning attorney after this step because we don't want anything to happen to them in between the data collection and the balance sheet preparation and when they draft their documents. One of the things I think that differentiates Ivy League financial advisors from a lot of other financial planning firms is that we are very implementation oriented. We just don't hand someone a plan and go, now it's yours, go implement it. We work with them hand in hand to implement it both initially and on an ongoing basis as changes are made in their lives.